Now the last thing we'll need to do is add our stills. Now um, you all who are using Shotcut won't be able to use um, the Ken Burns effect. Um, you can do it. I will give you um, the the way to do that. But for basic editing, I don't want you to get too um, tripped up with keyframes and such. Um, so just just know that you won't be able to do th this sort of zooming and panning of still shots um, the way that you might see in some documentaries. So that's just very basic, very easy to do. Let's open our file. And we're looking at um, still seven and still four. And so we want to make those um, just a few seconds long. So this is, looks like it's four. So I'm going to add this to my timeline. And then I'll add number seven. I already added it to my um, playlist. So you can just literally just drag it into your playlist. But so I already have still seven in there. Then you can drag that. So notice what happens is that, um, so anytime you kind of think that you're finished with a project, what nonlinear editing, editing does is um, it allows you to make any adjustments. And so if I want to, I can pop these around here. Um, and, and then certainly I can also extend this. So even though I made this 30 seconds, I can extend it. And that's the beauty of nonlinear editing. Um, so you can flip things around if you want, but this is your basic project. Now, every time you finish something, you should be saving, and it does have a nice auto save function in here. As you can see. And so now we want to export it. Okay, so obviously you cannot send me this file. Um, because it's not going to keep all of your assets in there. So let's hit export. So what's nice is that um, it already has a bunch of presets. It never used to, um, well, at least Final Cut Pro and all the other uh, software programs didn't have um, a lot of these presets. So this is the default preset. Um, what's nice is you can do with YouTube, which is what, we'll, what you're looking for. So you want to hit YouTube as a preset. Not alpha. YouTube is the preset. And then hit export file. And it should tell you where it's going to save. Now this is important too because um, it's going to go to a default place, whereas you need to tell it its destination. So this is where just knowing where all your files are. So this happens to me all the time in my advanced editing courses. Students don't remember where their files are. So let's hit save. You can see the status of your project is going in the upper right hand corner. So again, it's if you send me this um, MLT or MIT file, I'm not going to be able to read it. And um, so you'll need to work on it and send me the MP4 file. Actually, you're uploading the MP4 file like you would with a understand as you see all of mine in there. files are there. This is all 2020 recordings. Oh, I think it just saved. So this is my project. So this ultimately was what it should look like. And so the yours are going to look a little bit different from um, students who are using Final Cut Pro.
but um, you'll get the gist. So, so that is how you'll need to do it. So again, you'll need to upload this video. Check it first. Always check check your video before you upload it to YouTube, and um, and then you'll share the link onto the site.